Are you planning to travel or immigrate to Canada, apply for Canadian citizenship, or sponsor a refugee? Are you filling out any other Citizenship and Immigration Canada applications? Excellent! I'm here to help you complete your application correctly and avoid common errors that result in application delays and get you on your way faster. Hi, my name is David and I work for Citizenship and Immigration Canada, or CIC. We get thousands of applications each year from people around the world. It seems that Canada is a popular place. What you may not know is that many applications we receive are incomplete. Sometimes, applicants don't fill out their applications in full, or they send applications that are missing some of the documents we need. Others forget to sign their forms. In all of these cases, we have to return the applications without processing them. Unfortunately, this means that valuable time is lost while applicants resubmit their applications to us and wait for them to be processed. I'm here to help you save time and worries. Watch carefully as I walk you through the most common mistakes that applicants make. Feel free to pause the video at any time to check your form and materials. Press play again when you're ready to continue. And don't forget, the Video Center on our website has other useful tutorials to help you complete your application, so be sure to take a look. Let's start with filling out your application. All of our applications are available online. The best way to fill out your form is on your computer. It's easier to read and process. Some forms include a validate button at the top or bottom of the page. If your form has this feature, make sure to click the button once you've completed the form. This will tell you if you've filled out all sections. If you haven't, it will highlight incomplete sections of the form in red. When you're working with our online or PDF forms, remember that you can stop and save your work at any time. This makes it easy for you to locate documents or research your answers. You can return to your application later to finish it. Here's a real problem area. Often, we find that people skip questions or leave them blank. Be sure to answer all the questions on your form. Do not leave any empty question boxes or blanks. If the question does not apply to you, simply write NA, meaning not applicable. The lesson here, send us a complete application. Answer all the questions. It is also important to be clear with your answers to avoid confusion during processing. Sometimes, we receive applications that are hard to read or difficult to understand. If CIC staff do not understand or cannot read an answer, the application will be returned. The applicant has to fix the problem and resubmit the forms to us to be processed. Filling out your application on a computer is always the best approach. Answers are easier to read, which makes applications easier to process. Another tip, answer all questions completely. In other words, give us the facts. Sometimes people give vague or irrelevant answers. Try to avoid this by giving us complete and detailed answers. For example, if a question requests your address in Canada, do not simply write Canada. Please provide as complete an address as possible. At minimum, include the name of the town or city and province in Canada. If you are not sure of the exact location, do not leave it blank. Make sure you search for the right answer and include it. Another common problem area is photos. We have very specific photo requirements, and these are clearly outlined in each application kit. They are sometimes different for different applications. We often receive photos that do not meet our specifications. Sometimes they are damaged, or they are not clear, too dark, or have shadows. Unfortunately, we have to return the entire application to you and ask to send new photos when you resubmit your application. Your best approach is to bring the photo specifications in your application package to your photographer. Check the photos when you receive them to make sure that they meet our needs. When you're ready to submit your application, remember to include all supporting documents. This means photos, fee receipts, and supplementary forms. Supporting documents include items such as passports, birth certificates, medical information, financial statements, language test assessments, or sponsors forms. Go through the checklist to see what, if any, supporting documents are needed, and include them with your application. When applying by mail, always send originals, unless the application guide or document checklist says photocopies are acceptable. Another common mistake happens when applicants send us the wrong types of supporting documents. Keep in mind that we do not accept substitutes. If we have asked for a birth certificate, do not send a passport instead. Other identification that lists your complete name and birth date is not always acceptable. 
Read the questions carefully and go through our checklist to make sure that you are following the proper steps. What do you do if you can no longer obtain an original document, like a birth certificate, that is needed for application? If you are in this situation, you must provide a statutory declaration or affidavit. To find out when and how to provide a statutory declaration or affidavit, refer to the guide in your application kit. If you cannot provide an original document that is required, tell us why. Do not leave the section blank and do not write N.A. Remember, save time. Send us a complete application so you can get on your way faster. Be sure to provide us with the right number of identification documents. If we have asked for more than one, that means we need more than one for your application to be considered complete. Don't forget to fill out and include any supplementary forms that are required. These are extra forms that you may need to fill out. Check your application guide, locate the right forms, and complete them. Do you have a family, spouse or dependents, or both? Make sure you provide all the information we need for your entire family. If they're not coming with you to Canada, you must still provide their information as requested on the application. You're almost ready to send your application package to CIC, right? It's time to stop and review everything. Have you included photos, supporting documents, and all required supplementary forms? Don't forget to include the correct fee. Make sure you double check the amount and include it in full. Sign all documents related to your fees. Do one last review of the document checklist in your application kit. Make sure you have included all the information and materials we require. Remember, it is important to send a complete application to avoid processing delays and get on your way faster. Your application will be returned to you if there are problems or if you are missing information or documents. You will be asked to fix the problems or obtain the correct documents, then resubmit your application to us. This takes time and causes delays. If you need to provide extra information to support your application, you may include a note with your application package. The note should be provided on a separate piece of paper and should include additional details you want to give to CIC. However, do not provide documents that we have not requested. Finally, remember to sign and date your application. We need your signature and the date for your application to be considered complete and valid. Depending on the form you're filling out, you may need to sign in more than one place. Be sure to read the application and guide carefully. You'll find all application guides and checklists on our website at www.immigration.gc.ca forward slash guides. Be sure to use them. If you're like most people, you probably don't like delays. My best advice, skip the frustrating step of having an incomplete application returned to you. Save time, send us a complete application.